Hell is it to go? What now out today, everybody? This is Speedboy14 on my playthrough of New Super Mario Bros. U for the Nintendo Wii U. If you guys give me a favor and drop a like on this video, I'd really, really appreciate that. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click on the bell. Be notified every time my new videos come out. If you find a feature of the channel, you can request your favorite level or your favorite world in the game in the comments below. Excuse me. Also... If you want to check out my any percent speed run I did in New Super Luigi U last night, you can click on the link in the description below. Also, let me know down in the comments below for a question of the video. Do you like water levels in video games, yes or no? If yes, which one's your favorite and least favorite? We know me, I absolutely love water levels in video games. If I had to pick my favorite one of those, probably Noki Bay from Super Mario Sunshine. And I also really like the Cosmic Cove Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy 2. And there's several water levels in this game I really like. Like this one I really like, the one I'm playing right now. I just love water levels in games. Okay, so there we go. That's the first two star coins. In last episode's question of the video, let's talk about that. I'm glad somebody participated in it and said that their favorite power-up was the PA corn. They said their favorite power-up was the PA corn from this game, is what they said in last episode's question of the video. And I'm glad somebody participated. That's awesome. I really appreciate that. Okay, so, um... We got all three star coins, that's good. And top of the fly pole for the win. We got double digits, that means we're gonna get a power up since we ended with two twos on the timer. What power up do we get? We'll have to wait and see. Mushroom. Which I don't need because I'm already big Mario, plus I'm already ice Mario too. So, um, let's talk about other water levels I like. I love Koopa Cape from Mario Kart Wii. And I also really like, um, Prana Plant Slide from Mario Kart 7, and I like Dolphin Shoals from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And, and I love Deep Sea Ruins from this game, which is actually a World 5 level, which is actually in Soda Jungle. That, that's a water level I like. And this is a water level I like, the one I'm playing right now. I love this level. This is a beautiful level right here. It's really, really awesome. There's several water levels I like. I love water levels in games. I like any kind of water level, really. But really, if I had to pick my least favorite water level, the only water level I don't like has to be Swim For Your Life from this game. And you're going to see that in Superstar Road. That has to be my least favorite water level ever. Other than that, I like all water levels. Because I love water levels in games. That's your first star coin. Pretty easy to get. It's right there. Look how beautiful this is. Excuse me. Look at the water. Since I've always loved water levels in games, um, Sparkling Waters is one of my favorite worlds in this game. Since I've always loved water levels in games. Coins galore, right there. Okay, if you go here, you can hit a switch in order to get a star coin. It's random or not, it'll be on the left or right side of the screen. So, you don't have to, you don't have to react that fast. It's easy to get to. It, is it always the left or is it random what side it's going to be on? I really don't know, but... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm glad somebody participated in last episode's question of the video, where they said their favorite power-up was a PA coin. I probably won't be using the PA corn in this playthrough because I'll just be using regular power-ups. The PA corn um, is actually a power-up you get from catching Nabbit. And what it does is um, it, it, it um, allows you to infinitely glide. And infinitely, after your um, squirrel jump, keep gliding again. That's what it does. It's really cool, but at the same time, I don't use it because I don't really need to use it. It's just, it's not a power up you have to have or anything like that. 
So I probably won't be using that much in this playthrough. Okay, be careful right here because you have fish. And I hate those bloopers. Those bloopers are really annoying. So really watch out for them. And we did it. Very easy. So I enjoyed my 80% speed run. I did a new Super Luigi U last night. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Alright, so that was 3-2. Now we're going on to the tower of this world, which is actually the easiest tower in the game. Giant Scooter Tower. Here we go. Alright, here we go. So... I love Spark on Waters, it's one of the best worlds in this game, because I've always loved water levels in any kind of video game. I've always loved water levels in games, so that makes sense why I love this world. Um, <laughs> I love underwater I love underwater levels in games. Cause I love here's what here's the stuff I love about water levels. Um, here's stuff I love about water levels. Um, I like the gameplay, I like the graphics of them, I like how beautiful the water looks, and most importantly, the music. What? There's a pipe there? How is it giving us coins? Oh my gosh. I didn't know that. Okay. So be careful about these scooters right here, so, but they're pretty easy to dodge. You just have to go along with the flow, go with the flow, don't go too fast, don't go too slow, don't go too fast. So, we're gonna go this way. And here is the checkpoint. You can actually get a squirrel suit from here. Give me that squirrel suit. Squirrel suit's my favorite suit in the game. I just love the squirrel suit so much. Okay. All right. Now let's fight Boom Boom. I love the Boom Boom battles in this game. They're all really easy. Basically, the only move this Boom Boom has is where he jumps like that. He's just as easy as the other ones. You just have to jump on him three times in a row. That's all you do. After you jump on him once, you just jump on him whenever he gets back up for the next two hits. Very, very easy. That's like the easiest tower in the game, I told you. It's not hard at all. <laughs> Oh, I love boo houses. Uh, I love boo levels, so I can't wait to do this one. I'm excited. We're not saving just yet. We're going to save after we do the boo house. Haunted Shipwreck. I love the haunted levels in, two, in the new Super Mario Bros. games. I, I think they're really, really awesome. Those are very relaxing and chill to play. Oh my gosh, I hate those things! Wow! That's my practice! Yeah. So, this level with the squirrel suit is pretty easy. I love the- I'm pretty good at the boo houses. They do not have any checkpoints, and all of them have secret exits, but they're really fun to play. Because they're all really easy, of course. Okay, so really watch out for the boos, and watch out for the dry bones. We 
don't need squirrel suit anymore. We don't have to have it. It's okay. I don't care. <laughs> There we go, that's the third star coin. So be careful right here. So just do this, do that. So. So we go here. And there is a hidden block above the door, but I usually like to do it this way. Wall jumping is just as easy. It's actually even easier, in my opinion, just to wall jump. Because that boot is in the way. Very easy, I told you. So, um, these levels are, this game is so easy and everything. These levels are so short and everything. There we go. That was pretty good. Excuse me. Now we're going to come back here to get the secret exit. We're just going to speed run through it just to get to the secret exit. I hate these blocks. They're so annoying. I really hate those. Um, but they're easy to dodge. They're not hard to dodge. There we go. <laughs> I love speed running this game. This is one of my favorite games to speed run. That's an easy path to do if you're not worrying about the star coins. You can just go that path. What the heck? So we're not doing too badly. Okay, so to get the secret exit, we're gonna have to jump from this arrow when we get some momentum, then wall jump up. That's really all you do. Very, very simple. We did it. That was easy. We got double digit. That means we get a power up. And this unlocks the path to the secret level, which the secret level here bases off moraine clouds, pretty much. Excuse me. I love how the secret levels in this game do not base off that particular world. I think that is awesome. Okay, I'll have to go blow my nose really quick, so I will see you guys when I'm done blowing my nose. Alright, I'm back. So, see, I knew it wouldn't take long. I actually had to go blow my nose and use the bathroom too, so I'm glad to be back. So now we're gonna do Sparkling Waters 3 above the Cheap Cheap Seas. Here we go. All right, so let's hop on Yoshi's back. So, um, the first star coins right here, pretty easy to get. Okay, this is a pretty easy level. The only thing that's annoying about this level are just the cheap cheeps. Okay, right here, this is going, this is the tricky part right here, what we have to watch. Here's where it does get a bit tricky. We have to watch out for these. 
Here's our star coin, and there we go. That's okay. We originally would have gotten a power up there, but that's fine. Okay. Okay. Ah! Oh, I knew I was screwed at that point. Because I think you have to have Yoshi. You have to have Yoshi, I think. So... Okay, give me a power up. Give me a power up. Anything's fine. It does not have to be Squirrel Suit or anything. If it was Squirrel Suit, it would have been awesome, but because I love the Squirrel Oh no! Where's Yoshi? Wait, I have to have him! See? It's impossible without him! I have to have Yoshi! You have to have either Yoshi or the Squirrel Suit. Otherwise, you won't be able to do it. Wow, I can't believe I'm struggling with this a little bit. I'm actually surprised it's giving me this much trouble. I'm normally not that bad at this level. Okay, let's try again. Oh, we lost Yoshi! Where can I find him? Ah, oh. You have to have Yoshi to do it! And there's no other block that gives you Yoshi. That sucks. That's, this is the only block from the rest of the level that will give Yoshi. Okay. Give me that fire flower. Any power up? No! Wow! What the heck? It requires Yoshi, or the squirrel suit, or the baby Yoshi. Okay. Ah, oh, I can't believe this level's taking so long. Wow. The level's not even that hard of a level. Wow. It's mainly just that star coin that makes it difficult. No! Give me power-ups. The level don't even give you power-ups. There we go. It's not even hard to do. The hardest part is that you have um, cheap cheeps that really make it hard because they, they're really annoying. Excuse me. Okay, so we're pretty much done. No block gives you power-ups. Not many blocks in this level give you power-ups. Well, there we go. No double-digit main signage will get a power-up. Double-digit means if the last two numbers are the same digit. Mm -hmm. On the in-game timer. And that means we'll get a power-up. I struggled more with that level than I thought I would.
Now we're going on to Sparkling Waters for Urchin Shoals. Here we go. Okay, this level is actually easier than what we did, actually. Here we get Fire Flower, that's good. But we're gonna have to have Mini Mushroom in order to do the level. I know we're gonna have to have Mini Mushroom and that's like the worst power up ever, but it's actually not that hard. It's actually very easy, even with the Mini Mushroom. Guess we can run here, get our first star coin, and then run up this waterfall, go inside this mini pipe. Only for the first two star coins we need the mini mushrooms, so, but for the third one we can actually get as regular Mario. Okay, we're at a checkpoint. Wait, I'm just gonna ditch the mini mushroom. Give me that mushroom. Okay, the easiest way to get the third star coin is to grab this Koopa shell and then throw it towards the urchin at the time the water follows for coming up. And then there you go. We can use these water files to get to the pipe. Easy peasy. It's that's the easiest way to get it. You don't even need the mini mushroom. You don't even need it. It was actually very easy. Okay. That was easy. Um, it's actually easier than, I like this level better than the previous one, I like it's easier, of course. And there we go, top of the flagpole for the win. We finished with 272 left on the in-game timer. Okay, now we're gonna go on to, um, Sparkle Waters 5, Dragon Elf, Undersea Grotto. Okay, so this level right here might be the hardest level of Sparkle Waters. Excuse me. Because you have this Dragon Eel you have to really watch out for, and he's really annoying. I, I really hate these Dragon Eels. So you just have to dodge him. That's the first dark one. Pretty easy. That's all you gotta do. There we go. And then the... Here's the second star one. We have to really watch out for the dragon nail right here, so just do this. That's the second star coin. Pretty simple, pretty easy to get. If we grab all these red coins, we can actually get a, fi a fire flower. That's gonna help out. We're gonna need this fire flower because I can have an extra hit. So now we're gonna go inside this pipe. As soon as we get this dark one, we're gonna swim up as fast as we can to avoid those two dragon nails to get back in the pipe. Not too difficult at all. Pretty easy level if you know what you're doing. You just have to real it's just this dragon nail that's annoying. Which the secret level is actually a sky level of this world. Yeah. 
Go through the secret level. <coughs> Excuse me. Skyward Stalk is the name of this level. Those leaves look like fall leaves. <laughs> Where they change color like that. And, okay, so we have to keep. This is a very easy level right here. One of the easiest levels in the game. We have to climb this up, basically. Here's our first star coin. Very easy. That's all we got to do. Super simple. Second star coin's right there. I didn't even see the second star coin on the screen when I got it. I love the athletic team in this game. I really do. I love the athletic themes in the new Super Mario Bros. games. I told you, easy level, I told you, I told you, it was easy. Get the top of the flight pole, and we have 49 lives now. And there we go. That's it with the secret level, at least. And this unlocks a path to the sixth world, which is Rock Candy Mines, where you can skip over Frosty Glacier and Soda Jungle entirely. Excuse me, but we're not going there yet. Excuse me, we still have business to take care of. We're going to go into the castle, which is Larry's Torpedo Castle. Here we go. All right, this, this, this castle is not hard at all. It's actually a very easy castle, actually. Um, so we have to be careful right here. And then, first, that's the first dark one. Very easy, that's all you gotta do. And then here's the underwater section right here. Watch out for the torpedo tags here. So you have to be careful about the torpedo tests here. We got, our, we got the second star coin. It was very easy to get as well. You have to watch out for the torpedoes right here. And we're out of the underwater section just like that. <clears throat> We can grab ice flower here. And here is our um, third star coin. 
super easy. That's all you gotta do. And now we're gonna fight Larry Koopa. Here we go. Excuse me. All right, here we go, Larry. Excuse me. Basically, what you gotta do in this boss is you just gotta jump on him three times. Has these water files that come up. He's very easy, actually. You just gotta do this. He's such an easy boss. He's not hard by any means. He's out. You got all the star coins and spark on waters. That's got made something good, right? Yes, it surely does. Oh, I forgot to save. That's okay. Okay. I'll quit save whenever I quit. Next time, we'll be doing the World 4 Frosted Glacier. This is what we'll be doing next time. The fourth world, Frosty Glacier. I'm super excited about this. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click on the bell. I'll be notified every time I make new videos. Have a wonderful day. Peace, Republic of Speedboy.